so it's like, um, how many days have I been here? I don't know, I've lost count. I've only showered twice since I've been here. <laughs> so I'm on like day four, I'm going on day five of not showering. I've been kind of wearing the same clothes, except when they get poop on them, I like to change them, even though you get poop on you a lot here. Um, if you're gonna volunteer, uh, realize there's a lot of hard work behind it. You will get to touch the animals and stuff, but it's mainly um, a lot of hard work. And if you go into it with the wrong mindset, then you kind of have to change you know, what you expect. One of our volunteers that I met when I first got here, she left a few days ago, and then we got two new volunteers, so they're learning everything, and I kind of have to teach them what I know, which is not a job description I thought that I would have. My saving grace, this is dry shampoo, and I've been layering this in every day because I don't need to wash my dreadlocks. I know they probably smell like so much smoke, but my bangs do get kind of oily, so this actually works really well. I'm surprised at how well it works. You guys are ready for food. Okay, so I just got done raking for hours and hours. I'm so gross. I really need a shower, but um, you guys hungry? So it's about time for the five o'clock feeding of the kangaroos. They're ready to eat. They're like feeding me. Oh, I'm getting eaten. I'm getting eaten alive. Okay, so I'm gonna do the five o'clock feeding for these rooms. <laughs> yeah, you got that. Just All right, I can't get that with one hand. station again waiting for another train to get to Melbourne. Melbourne 
I can't say it right, people making fun of me for how I say it. But um, yeah, so here we are again. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna get into Melbourne, burn. <laughs> that is going to be kind of the end of this journey of volunteering at a shelter. I hope you guys enjoyed the time. I'm really grateful for it. Sorry, I just ordered a, a veggie burger at the cafe here in the train station while I wait for my train. Born Australia, I'm in a hostel right now. It's not a luxury hostel by any means, but I get my own room. And for that, I am so happy. You guys know whenever I have to stay with a lot of people, I get completely just overwhelmed. The last place I was at, the shelter wasn't too overwhelming because it was only like one person at first and then it was just two people and I had kind of a bed in the back, so it was fine. Yeah, it was hard. I haven't been able to edit, I haven't been able to um, really do anything for myself. So um, I'm going to do that here. I'm kind of just gonna be boring and just edit. In Pretty much in the city, I feel like there's tons of things walking distance. I'm really excited to be here. Whenever I arrived here, it's definitely a different atmosphere than Sydney. But I'm gonna try my hardest to meet up with people here because I don't want it, what's happened in Sydney to happen here where I get like super lonely, even though I, kept really busy somehow. So today I'm just going to go get some food. I'm gonna try and locate a gym somewhere where I could just like do a day or something. And then I really have to book an Airbnb somewhere more stable and permanent here in Melbourne. I don't know what I'm doing. Everyone just said you should go to Melbourne. So here I am and I don't know what comes after this. But I don't know, I don't have that plan yet. All I planned up to is this point. It's an adventure. I'm all alone again. <laughs> I don't see you next.